we planted the ginger we wanted to enrich the soil so here uh, the small farmers they don't like wasting time so what we thought was we have to en enrich the soil and at the same time we should get, generate some income so we thought to enrich the soil we have to go for radish with beans so that is the best model we thought so that's how uh, for this uh, half acre first we wanted to experiment so uh, we made the raised beds 1 feet height and 2 feet width and we have the drip lines in between so both the sides of the drip line we planted uh, the radish crop every 1 feet we have planted every half feet actually so every half feet uh, both the sides we have planted radish and in between every 4 feet we have planted uh, this chili and marigold alternate so uh, what we did after 60 days alternately we have harvested that means uh, i pluck the plant and leave the next radish and then alternate plant i will pluck so that uh, i will sell them in the market and also after some 120 days we have we have started selling the uh, uh, beans also we have planted some beans and some uh, uh, french beans and also some cluster beans so that uh, they can fix the nitrogen and these uh, radish will fix the carbon organic carbon in the soil and the same time we will generate the income so uh, we left uh, the remaining plants in the soil itself so that uh, we did not harvest the radish that uh, we waited till the life cycle of the plant is over after that we uh, we rotated the land and then again we made the raised beds then we planted the ginger so the best time to plant the ginger is in between april first week till may last week so in the summer we planted the ginger and then you can see the growth is it we don't use any chemicals we don't use any fertilizers we use only the jivamrutam and gana jivamrutam as cultures so this is how we got the result this is a live example thank you